Hi everyone, good morning. It is Marcy Denning here from Stampin' with Marcy. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Canada and I am just looking to see if I am live. Yes, I am live. So, yay. Okay, um, it is Monday, July 12th. Um, as I said, I'm Marcy Denning. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Ontario, Canada. And I want to thank you for taking a few moments out of your busy day to join me for some live crafting. Uh, please say hello when you join me. Let me know where you're coming from. Give me some hearts, some thumbs up, um, comment. If you're watching the replay, on YouTube, please click that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. The um, algorithm gods love that. It helps get my um, content out to more crafty friends. Look what has arrived. My mini catalog. Look at this beautiful um, image here. It is so lovely. Um, I cannot show you the inside. Now, I call this the holiday catalog. Stampin' Up! has renamed it. It's the July to December. It was supposed to be live in July, but uh, due, to, due to COVID uh, shipping woes, um, it's not going live to customers until August the 3rd. Um, us lucky demonstrators, one of the perks of being a Stampin' Up! demonstrator is we get to see and purchase early um, from the catalog. So I'm just gonna flip it over to show you what the back looks like. And then of course, Celebration. Um, Celebration is now um, twice a year, Stampin' Up! this year has um, decided to give us a second date of Celebration. So it is August 3rd to September 30th. So as I showed you in my unboxing, Celebration. Um, there's some fabulous products, but there's two ways to get celebration items. You cannot purchase them. You can only get them by um, your other purchases. So it doesn't matter if it's from the mini catalog, the annual catalog, the clearance rack. Um, Every $60 purchase before um, tax and shipping is going to get you a free item from this catalog. Uh, we have uh, two levels, the $60 level, which most of the products are, but then there's um, a couple, is I think, I'm not sure, is it one or two products that are um, $120, but... Um, that you can you have to spend to get them for free. So um, if you are a customer of mine, you will be um, getting your copy of this very soon. As you can see, I have not had a chance yet to um, get my information on the catalogs um, that is coming this week. So I'm hoping to have them out in the mail. Um, by uh, the weekend. So stay tuned to, stay tuned to the end of um, my video here and I am going to have a, just a few announcements, reminders at the very end. Okay, so this morning we're gonna be creating with some, this fun brew, some fun stamp set that this can be found in the annual catalog. Um, I did not uh, get it looked up here. I am. I got my COVID shot last Wednesday morning and I am still off. So, Brew Some Fun is on page 33. Um, 33. Here we go. It is on the same page as the opposite page of the Measure of Love and the Sweet Ice Cream. So, here we are. Down here, it coordinates with the warm wrap dies that uh, were in the holiday catalog last year. Uh, this is a really cute, fun stamp set. So page 166, 
So let's flip back there. And here are our brew some or sorry, our warm wrap dies. So these dies are fabulous. So we have the coffee cups, the um, disposable coffee cups that you can decorate. Um, and they have uh, carried over as well. So this carried over from last year. And now we have a fun new stamp set to coordinate with it. So um, I this is my, I just started playing with it. So this stamp set is $26 and it is red rubber. All right, so this is the fun card that we are going to be creating. This is a quick and easy card. And of course, I've got some on the something on the inside. Very quick and easy now, and I don't know if my camera is going to pick it up, but the center of each of those flowers has a little bit of Wink of Stella. And this is for my purple lovers out there. Um, so we are using Fresh Freesia and Gorgeous Grape. And then of course, my ribbon is this gorgeous Highland Heather. Um, it has some gorgeous sparkle woven right through it. Oh, this is actually, this is what I uh, pulled out first. I was like, all right, I want to uh, use some of this Highland Heather uh, beautiful grill grain ribbon. What am I going to do with it? So then I pulled out my Brew Some Fun and my ink pads and I actually um, on my blog post a little later on you're going to see that my card layout it was inspired by the Global Design Project um, their post from June 28th I think it was uh, was a layout um, my blog post has a screenshot of it from their Instagram post and so this is how I created this card so we are going to get started here. I'm going to take, I have my dirty old um, grid paper uh, that's all um, marked up. So I'm going to take it and use it as my um, stamp off. Paper. So, alrighty, make sure that I am um, in view here. I have to go up on my tippy toes now. Again, I do apologize. I cannot see um, your comments. It is not showing for me. So, on my iPad, I have to... Uh, look after the fact and um, respond to them. I do apologize. Wednesday I will be live on YouTube instead of the um, Facebook here as I can comment. I can read your comments. I can um, respond and interact with you. And that's what I really love to do is to um, be able to respond and interact with um, those of you that are watching and commenting. So what I'm doing here is I'm just adding a bit of the Fresh Freesia. This is one of the new in colors and with my blending brush just to give that slight um, warm color to be stamping on my card front just to have that little bit it just I think it adds that little bit more to it and I'm going to do the exact same thing to the inside piece so you can use your own judgment with this kind of stuff and go as heavy or as light um, as you want you can see that I'm pretty close to what I have on my original card here. And bring that over. 
over just a bit, but I want to keep it over to the left hand side more. Okay, so now I'm going to take my insert piece. This is the inside of the card. So this piece here is three and three quarters by five. So it's three and three quarters of an inch this way and five inches this way. My insert uh, basic white is four inches by five and a quarter. Move that off to the side for just a second. Pick up a little bit more ink. Get rid of some of that. And I'm just going to go right across the center um, of that insert piece because I want to do a little bit of stamping on there just to pretty that up. Okay. think that's probably good so I'm gonna put that away so I've got this pretty flower image so I am going to just ink up for the inside and I'm just going to flip it around and there we go. So we've got that pretty little uh, cluster of flowers for the inside of our card. So we're going to set that aside. All right. So for this part here, what I'm going to do is oh, move this out of the way. I'm going to take my ribbon and I'm going to lay it across. Um, I always tell you, if you're new to my channel, um, our Facebook page. I am a very visual person, so I like to um, lay things out before I stamp it so I can see whereabouts. Actually, let's move this right out of the way. We don't need this. Um, that way I can use my grid paper to make sure that I am lined up so I can see whereabouts. So I know that my ribbon is gonna be roundabout in that area. So now I'm going to take my um, flower and I know I want my clusters to um, be above and below. So if I do this, I can then um, kind of figure out how high and how low. So now I know I can build around that. It is so much easier to do it this way, I think, than to try and guesstimate and then find that, oh, I've put too many um, in this area or I haven't got, I'm, I'm covering I'm completely covering those flowers with um, my ribbon or my sentiment. If you take a moment just to, like I showed you, just put that down there so you can see that you're gonna have a cluster above and below. Um, you're gonna be much happier in the long run. At least I think so. So I'm just moving it here and there so that um, I'm gonna have, and then I've got my little strip here. So that's gonna cover like that. So what I'm actually gonna do is, I'm gonna clean this off. And I want one more here. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to, I've cleaned all the ink off. So I'm just going to ink that up and stamp that there. So that fills that little spot. Easy peasy. And we can actually do that right here as well. So now we don't have any gaping areas. Um, so we are gonna close this up and 
We're now going to take our strip. This is three quarters of an inch long and I am going to line it up here on my grid paper and I'm going to take my gorgeous grape and make sure it's bring this back in yep we're inking up nicely okay so get that out of the way I get right up on my tippy tippy toes here so that I can see and hopefully hopefully I have stamped that well. Yes, I did. Woohoo! It always makes me so happy when I'm not too awful wonky with my stamp stamping. All right, so I am done stamping. So let's put you these ink pads away. And we are going to um, bring in all of our pieces here. We'll cut that down in a moment. All right, so I'm gonna bring in my silicone craft sheet. So I've got this piece here is for the inside of the um, Fresh Freesia. So this is four and an eighth by five and three eighths so that my layers are generally speaking an eighth of an inch uh, larger so that we've got that lovely little border around it so let's um, now I have to be very careful with this this morning I had a little incident um, when I was creating my card that yes I did create this card at like 8 a.m. this morning <laughs> you know how it is um, I forgot that I had just opened this uh, glue and oh my gosh, I had glue everywhere. It was, it was not pretty. So I have to just keep reminding myself to uh, be gentle with the glue. It's brand new and um, you're gonna get, make a big sticky gooey mess everywhere if you're not careful. All right, so, oh, and look at, I missed the thing and I stamped off, oh well. Oh well, oh, don't put that away. So what we're gonna do with this, I'm going to, as you can see here, I've wrapped it right around that piece. So I am going to slightly, with my ribbon scissors, Slightly angle that. That's a little too pointy for me. There we go. And I'm going to figure out whereabouts it is. And take... All right, so I want to have enough to wrap around the back. So, snip that off so I'm not wasting. I've only wasted that teeny tiny bit. So this is where our stamp and seal comes in very, very handy. So I'm just going to run, run my seal across the back side here and turn that and whoop. We are stuck. All right, so. Guesstimate whereabouts it was you wanted it and how far over. And I'm thinking about there. And before I press that down, I'm just going to take it and turn it sideways. And I can see the grid lines through here and I'm just gonna carefully lift that up and straighten it. There we go. And then because I've got that adhesive on the back, 
I'm going to tuck and there it's done. It is adhered to that card front. All right, so now we are going to take, now this, um, because this is three and three quarters by five, so this one being an eighth larger, it is three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. I like easy measurements. Easy, easy makes my life so much better. I'm not one that does a whole lot of those gorgeous, stunning, fancy fold, pulling out all the stops. I generally um, gravitate towards the easy but pretty cards that don't have too many um, details. A little goes a long way and cards that are easy to um, recreate for you guys. All right, so we're gonna take our bone folder. Now this is four and a quarter by 11 and scored at five and a half. All of the measurements are going to be on my blog post as always. So no need to stop and pause or quickly be jotting down measurements if you like this card. All you have to do is just wait for that blog post to go live. And if you're watching the replay on YouTube, that blog post is already live and it is linked in the description box below. Alrighty, so center this and there we go. Oh, Miss Maisie is whining in the background. She's not happy that I've got her locked down here with Mama. Hold, hold a second, please. I needed a little drink of my water. Okay, so my sentiment strip needs to be trimmed down slightly. So I am going to line it up on my little mini cutter here. Sadly, this is not available to customers. This was a celebration perk for um, people joining the Stampin' Up! community a couple years ago, I think it was. All right, so let's see here. Um, but we could, as a demonstrator, we could purchase it ahead of time. Okay, so there we go. Get rid of all of that excess. Is that maybe, well, that's okay. All right, so my bow behind here, it's a big loopy bow. Um, it is the silver uh, trim from the Elegant Trim uh, combo pack. It, you get a spool of the silver and a spool of the um, gold. So all I do is when I take it off the spool is I take my hands and I just run it through a firm grip here and just run it straight down. And the heat um, from my hands is going to help straighten that a little bit so that you can um, then not have a wonky, um, twisty, turvy kind of bow because sometimes when it's wrapped around the spool, it's very uh, difficult to manipulate. So, all right. And then I always like to, when it's a big loopy bow, I'm gonna take it and turn so that I can see that my loops are um, fairly close to the same size. This one here is maybe just a hair. There we go. So let's take a look and see what we think.
All right, so this can be, like I said, I'm visual, so I always like to take a look. All right, so I think that's good. So what I'm gonna do is pull my tails together, take my scissors and snip that. And then I've got my glue dots here. So I'm going to rip off this excess first. There we go. I'm gonna take a mini glue dot and I'm gonna put it on the knot of the bow and I'm gonna turn it that out of my way. Tighten that lid. I'm gonna turn it so that I've got loops coming out either side of my there we go it is now stuck on so that we've got make sure you give it a good press so it doesn't pop off so there we have it so now we need little mini dimensionals because I find that these are the right height if I flip this so you can see my knot is um, sticks up quite a bit so the mini dimensionals are almost almost the same they're just a smidge shorter but I'm okay with that so I'm just kind of adding dimensionals here and there so that it is going to have enough stability that it's not going to um, be saggy. We don't like anything saggy in our cards. There. So that should be good enough. Alrighty. So now we just need to pull our backs off. It was a very rainy weekend here in uh, Strathroy. Brad and Damon were in a golf tournament on Saturday and Sunday. And, um, oh my goodness, both days Brad had to bring his golf bag and everything in and um, put it downstairs here to dry with heaters on it everything it was just crazy just crazy how much rain we've gotten okay give it a press and I kept a um, dimensional here in the corner to keep this tail up so I just need to this tail looks a smidge long there we go now our final is my Wink of Stella. I didn't want to be putting this on until I was done. So I'm just putting a little bit at the center. You could easily add some um, rhinestones or the in color jewels <clears throat> to the centers um, or sprinkled around Whoop. I didn't do this so let's gotta glue this to the inside and we want the inside to be as pretty as the outside so is the camera <clears throat> excuse me is the camera going to pick that up i don't know so let's add some liquid glue and 
And like I said, when I am all done here, I will go back and look for comments and respond. For some reason, the update that Facebook did, I cannot see comments while I'm live on my iPad, on any other device. So, and of course I'm using my phone to record. So, makes it kind of difficult. All right. There we have it. Such a pretty, but so simple card. Perfect. If you've got to do some mass producing, um, doesn't take much effort at all. Just a few different little steps, but oh, so lovely. I hope you guys like that card. All right, let me clear this out of the way. I've got some um, reminders for you. So if, first up, catalog. If you are a Canadian and you do not have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator that you currently work with um, and would like a catalog from me, um, if you are new to me and have not placed an order, please um, reach out, um, email me, let me know, or post in the comments that you would like a catalog, but um, email me your mailing address and when I get my catalogs all shipped out, I would be happy to pop, pop one in the mail for you. Um, or if you are local to me, I'm in Strathroy, Ontario. If you're local to me um, and want to do porch pickup, you can absolutely do that as well. All right, so that's the first thing. Um, next up, the Over the Border with Di and Marcy. Our virtual fall social is September 25th. And um, we are taking registrations right now. Diana is Diana Gibbs in the United States. And she is stampingwithdye.com. She has a G. I am stampin, S-T-A-M-P-I-N. She is stamping, S-T-A-M-P-I-N-G. So, um... She's in the United States, so you can join us if you are anywhere in the United States. Uh, you can sign up with Diana and you can reach out to her to find out the um, American pricing. And if you are in Canada, um, you can sign up with me um, to join in on our fun day. So it is um, $100. Um, here in Canada, you have to add another $20 for um, it to be priority post mailed to you if you are not local. If you're local, you can come and do porch pickup. There are three stamp sets that are included. The uh, Counting Sheep, this is a celebration item. Sweets and Treats and Joyful Life. And um, if you're a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and want to take part in our fun day and um, already have any of these stamp sets, no problem. Just let us know what you would like in um, to substitute out instead of any one or all of them, if you already got all of them. They just have to be um, the same um, value uh, for us to um, substitute out. So that's Diana in the United States, me here in Canada. So the stamp set you can sub out any, um, it has to be the same value. This of course is a celebration item and um, you can easily just get the, um, the dies that are um, matching. They are also a $60 value. So this stamp set you get free with $60. So um, our fun day, you're going to be making a minimum of 12 projects. There will be uh, table gifts. There will be lots of fun creativity um, happening that day. So if you'd like any more information, please reach out to me um, and I would be happy to respond. All right. The Designer Series Paper Sale is going on right now until August 2nd. It's 15% off. 
There's nine different patterns of designer series paper that are on sale. Um, perfect time to get your um, stocked up on your designer series paper. And Tidings of Christmas is a fabulous Christmas um, package of designer series paper and that could help get you going on your Christmas cards. And finally, my, my August class to go is the Penguin Place. So, um, I will be sending out an email later. I, as I just got my products, I haven't even started to create with them. So, Penguin Place. We are going to be using the uh, fabulous uh, Penguin Playmates, this 12 by 12. I'm going to be using some of this paper in the class. This is a celebration item that you can get for free with a $60 order. This I showed you during my unboxing. Fabulous, fabulous paper. Um, so let's flip this so that it's, so this is the punch that goes with it. So there's two options for this uh, class to go. It is a virtual class, meaning that you're going to get a PDF emailed to you and there will be links for the uh, cards in there. So you're gonna make three cards Three different designs, um, two of each. So you're making six cards all together. Again, three designs, two of each of the three cards. So there'll be three card videos. And there's two options for this class. $35 is just the stamp set and your six cards. $55 gets you the punch as well. So that's the bundle. Um, as well as the cards and you will be emailed the PDF with the links for the videos and you can create them um, in the ease and comfort of your own home whenever you feel like it. Um, the beauty of having a virtual class to go is that whenever the mood strikes you, you can create those cards. You don't have to be in front of your screen at some certain time or anything like that, you can um, craft at midnight if you feel like it. So that is all for me today. Thank you so much for joining me and I will see you on Wednesday. If you're shopping in my online store, please remember to use this month's host code if your order is two, under $200. At $200, you get your own um, Stampin' Rewards from Stampin' Up. Um, but if your order is under $200, I would really appreciate it if you would use my host code. All right, that's it for me. Have a fabulous day. Um, have a fabulous start to your week. And I will see you on Wednesday on YouTube. Bye for now.